James Bond was laid off and at the job center there are only two jobs available. One in a call center and the other in a fabric coloring plant. Huh, said Bond. You expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, replied the interviewer. I expect you to die. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Caffeinated CX where we talk about customer experience and stuff all in a hyper caffeinated state and we're in a hyper caffeinated state this morning aren't we yes we are yes we are and not just me not just me but I'm hoping you as well the grocery store was having a sale on this new energy drink that I found and it is called Wired X. And it has 344 milligrams of caffeine. So, either this will work out very well, or this will be the last episode of Caffeinated CX. We'll see how it goes. As reference, that, uh, New Panera Lemonade, the one that uh, kills people, right? Has, uh, with ice, 237 milligrams. Or if you get it without ice, I guess it's uh, 390. So just a little bit over this energy drink. And that's the one that apparently has, uh, you know, killed people. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care. But, just in case, go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, share, do this, do that, with the show, so we can make the show grow. And let's just dive into it. Today, we're going to talk about three aspects that need to be in your training. You know, I said three, let's make it four. Alright, have an even number here, that's crazy. All right. So the first one, the first aspect that you need to put into your training curriculum for your agents, for your employees, for anybody who's taking on any sort of customer service role, where they are customer facing, right? The first one and the most important one are soft skills, right? So these are your communication skills, how you talk with people how you listen to people what is your attitude what is your special sauce right so active listening is one empathy is another right it's uh how to effectively give and take information this is arguably one of the most important uh, skills you can teach that you can learn and honestly you should have hired off of this skill if you didn't hire off of this skill let's say you're in a rush to hire you're in a ramp up phase and you're literally taking anybody with a pulse that's bad you shouldn't do that uh, you should have it that the only people that make it to the interview stage are the people that have these skills. How do you find that out before the interview? Well, you can also always do a personality test. You can do like little phone interviews. You can have a little quizzy quiz before the application is even processed. This, that, and the other. There's ways, there's ways. Don't, don't pretend that there isn't. Don't think that there isn't, because there is many ways right so these skills should come already at least halfway baked with the agents that you hire with the people who you want in your customer service role what's next next are you want to train sales skills these things are like product and service knowledge 
they got to know what they're talking about when they're talking, right? You can't, like, uh, just put them out there blind. Let, let's say you have a, uh, a plumbing company, for instance. They, they got to know a little bit about plumbing in order to actually sound confident and uh, competent on the phone. And uh, so, you know, they won't burst out laughing when, you know, the customer says they need their ball cock replaced, something like that, right? we got to at least know the terminology, right? So now, most likely, because this is just the way it is, there's going to be a little bit of upselling or a little bit of cross-selling on the calls. Got to learn how to do that without being too pushy, without being awkward about it right finding the right time to put that in and that's all trainable you can just put that into your call guidelines or if you still have them in 2024 your script or whatever right um you got to learn how to build value in the company the services the product and themselves with the customer that's part of rapport building right and that's all sales skills. It's all stuff that can be taught uh, and taught a lot easier than, let's say, empathy, right? Empathy is a hard skill to teach. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can effectively train real empathy. You might be able to train around it by going like just giving empathy statements or something like that, but you can't really train the feeling of empathy I could be wrong sometimes I am what's the third one then if uh, soft skills and sales skills are the first two what's next all right so the next one is your systems your CRM your phone system before they even touch a computer before they even touch a phone they gotta learn how this stuff works right so it's crazy right you got to learn how to transfer. You got to learn how to put someone on hold. You got to learn how to answer the phone. You got to learn how to input information. Now, this is the shortest section of the training because let's face it, in 2024, unless you're using incredibly antiquated equipment, this stuff is pretty easy. If you've ever been on a website, you pretty much have a CRM, right? You ever filled out a form fill? Yeah, you ever merged a call on your cell phone, you got this, right? This shouldn't take more than half a day of training. Shouldn't take more than a couple of hours. So the key is to one, show, and then let them play. Let them play with it. Have role plays where they're practicing their soft skills, their sales skills, and their CRM skills all at the same time. Most CRMs should have either a dummy account they can use or a sandbox where they can input anything and it won't affect live numbers. So if your CRM doesn't have that, maybe you should look into getting a new CRM or, you know, do whatever. Simulated tests while role playing, while going over your call quality scores as well, because that'll get them into the flow of it. And the more you role play, the better they're going to do as soon as they hit the floor, right? The fourth one, and probably almost as important as soft skills, is company and product or service knowledge, right? And culture. you got to get into what the culture is, what the values of the company are, what the mission statement is, and what it means for them right go over the company go over who is who the big players the small players doesn't matter everybody is equally important as far as the training goes right so it is what it is um you could also bring in things like uh, csat nps or ces or customer effort score uh customer effort score is my favorite one mostly because um i don't like hassle and I don't like customers having to go through hassle in order to do business with you. That's insane. Why make it difficult to do business with you? Have that right in the training. Teach them ways to make it easier for the customer. If it's easier for the customer on a complicated call to get a call back, 
once the agent does a little bit of research or an escalated uh, call that whoever needs to be escalated to isn't available, let's say they're on lunch or something, then offer that call back and make sure that they get called back. Follow up with it, right? This is all stuff that like not a lot of companies do, honestly. And I don't know. To me, it should be breathtakingly easy to do business with a company. If it's not, you got to work on that. That's one of the first things you got to work out on outside of the training. But it should definitely be part of the training, making it easy, teaching them uh, things on how to make it easier for the customer, like maybe even shortcuts in the CRM so they're not taking so long on the call so the customer can go about their day. Right, there is nothing worse than when you're calling a place and like you have to wait for their system to load. And either the agent will be like completely silent or they'll try making awkward small talk and uh, honestly I don't got time for that. So just do your thing. Yeah, I am not a fan of small talk. Like, I'm one of those people that when they get their hair cut, which is not as often as I should, but, you know, I do. Um, I'd rather just stare at the mirror and make eye contact with myself than talk about my day. And that, that might seem weird coming from, like, you know, a CX guy. But uh, there's many ways of improving customer experience. And sometimes shutting up is the best way. Yeah. I don't know, bro. So, it is what it is. Um, let's see. What else is there? All right. So, there were soft skills, sales skills, CRM skills, or software skills, I guess. And then company and, uh, yeah, com company policies and company knowledge, right? They should know what the policies are. If you, if you have a rule that they can't be on their cell phones, except in certain areas, that needs to be expressed in the training, and it needs to be enforced in the training, right? So, I think uh, no cell phone rules in, area, in places where they don't collect credit card information or anything like that is kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Um, a lot of companies don't agree with me, and that's okay. That is perfectly fine. I'm not here to be agreed with. I ain't here to make friends. Be my friend. Be my friend. So those are the four things that have to be in your training curriculum. And if they're not, you should put them in there. Um, I know for a fact of a lot of the call centers I've worked at in my life, um, it was, this was the training. Uh, systems training, script training, and then if you had time on the last day, then you'd go into a little bit of customer service, soft skills training, right? or upselling training, depending on the culture of the center, right? So, it, and these training classes would be at least two weeks. So you'd have like nine and a half days of systems and systems and scripts to the point of uh, complete boredom. And then uh, after that, you'd get a little bit of uh, soft skill training like how to handle situations, how to handle escalated calls, how to handle uh, people that just want to talk, you know, a little bit of call control in the last couple hours, unless there was a call spike. And then at that point, whoever was in charge would come into the room and say, hey, these people are trained enough, get them on the phones. And then they'll go out there and inevitably there was a breakdown when someone was yelled at and that person doesn't last the first day on the phones which I have seen plenty of times unfortunately and something that I would never allow to happen if it was my training class or someone that I hired right but sometimes you don't have control over that some sometimes you're in the training class it is what it is so that's all I got today so, yeah. Yeah. If you want, you can click on one of the links in my link tree and buy me a coffee. 
that's cool. And that's all I got today. So, bye.